And we will live, uh, we will live to Venezuela where we're going to listen to the images and we're going to see the images of uh, Nicolás Maduro. So all Venezuelans are voting. I don't know any um, any background about this. Uh, I've, I've been talking with uh, experts in the history of Venezuela, Latin America, and the, Cari the Caribbean. There is no reference of any consulta consultative referendum uh, in which uh, a city, all citizens have been consulted in this issue. I have uh, voted today with a very special emotion, feeling, uh, and every one of you is going to feel it. I invite you to cast your votes, vote on Sunday, on Sunday, Sunday December 3rd. I am, I am willing to answer all your questions. Go ahead. Good morning. We started the, the questions round with Guillermo Garcia from Telesur. Thank you. Uh, have a nice day, President, and all of you. It's a pleasure Venezuela to be here in, in this uh, crucial moment for Venezuela and the world. Estoy de so it's a political moment time. After all things, all clashes that uh, Venezuela has gone through in which uh, the, the national sovereignty has been defended. Well, now opposition is united in this process, but on this side, which historical time is living Venezuela in, in, the, in the head of all the clashes before? And so, uh, regarding the Eastern Cari Caribbean, some nations ha uh, are opposed to, uh, are, have different opinions about this matter. So, what's, what's the importance of this affair with Guyana? Uh, with, uh, What's the importance of this uh, Esequibo dispute? And we have just remembered the 200th anniversary of Monroe's doctrine. And so I think Venezuela is sending a message uh, how, how things are, are, are going through. Well, thank you very much uh, to Telesur and Guillermo Garcia. We have seen how during this uh, electoral uh, process, uh, unprecedented and historical uh, process, it has been an awakened of the uh, national soul of our Simon Bolivar's legacy. So this is a process we have been dealing with as Venezuelans, as uh, citizens, we have not been here, we have not voted as opposition or right or left or white or black, but just we are both voting as Venezuela with just a single flag, with just a single feeling. And so all voters should feel the same, connected with the spirit of liberators of just one continent. That is Venezuela. Vene our vote is to respect Venezuela and all the Venezuelan people beyond the the the, prefer the, uh, the political parties uh, preferences. I felt today as Venezue Venezuelan in the, uh, in this uh, region of Caracas, in which uh, it began to to. Uh, 
Well, in this land, in Caracas, was born uh, Simon Bolivar and other patriots as Francisco de Miranda in the western, Luisa, Luisa Cáceres in the eastern, and so on. We could, we could be here all day remembering the, the list of heroes and heroines patriots, so just feel this national spirit that have made us re-encounter ourselves with this powerful spirit of defending what is ours, of rejecting the rejecting the, the uh, usurpation of the British government. And uh, you, about the, the question about the Caribbean, Of, from Christ, Christopher Columbus to Fidel Castro, from a border of colonialism. So we are sorting out a conflict from the Constitution. It was, uh, it was a, a so we we have gonna be very more we we have gonna be out uh, stronger because we are a powerful a powerful country so the the voice of venezuela is going to be heard so because in venezuela decides just a whole a whole people and the caribbean people peoples are going to to be with Venezuela. Venezuela is the the inclusive one, the anti-colonialism, the anti the counter imperialism. So it's the the struggle against uh, uh, imperialism, and so this is uh, we are making history with this consultative referendum, blessed uh, re consultative referendum of. From, of our constitution, of our sacred constitution. So I am sure that the peoples of Latin America and the Caribbean are going to understand the, la, the, the loud and clear voice of Venezuela. So, uh, so Venezuelans, Venezuelans' votes uh, are going to, to be uh, are going to, to be the, the key for uh, the, all the world to listen us. So, well, the second question. This second question. Oscar Pineda by Union Radio. Good morning, President, and all present here. I have three questions. There have been approach approachments between the, the, the Venezuela's government and Guyanese government to resolve this conflict in a peaceful way. And on the other side, in uh, in an international matter, it is going to uh, the, you are going to search for justice in this uh, Guyana Sequiba issue. So, in third place, Venezuela's government is intended to uh, held talks with Guterres. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Oscar Pineda. Well, first pla in first place, Guyana, in a very uh, bad, bad temper way, with uh, ExxonMobil, took the, the track of clashes, of denial, the, the of deny of, of of denying the the only mechanism that is the Geneva Agreement. So unfortunately, they have intended to to take the the sea pending to be the limited of 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 Venezuela and and those pending to be the limited and to f uh, create a military base on the Guyana Esequiba territory. 
So the the country we we have reacted very steady. Uh, so I sent a, a letter a letter to the Caribbean for uh, an encounter for a face-to-face an, -face encounter with the Guyanese president. Um, but what the Guyanese president said, he didn't think to have a talk with with me. So it is a, a very warlike position of him. So um, he he didn't care about the the good neighbor policy of uh, uh, and about diplomacy. So I insisted one, several times, I have insisted several times, and he rejected my invitation. He tried to victimize himself. So the first effect of, of the powerful uh, national uh, un unity is uh, to, uh, to see the president and to make him come back to a uh, dialogue, that's the, the first aspiration we have. That's the first division we have about this affair, that uh, the very noteworthy uh, voice of our people, uh, of today's vote. So the actions, regarding actions, uh, some, some actions are uh, going through and uh, others depend on the peoples, on the, that the people uh, talked loud and clear and have the, the security be, that we are going through the path, uh, we are going to the path of diplomacy, peace, and so we will go th with the accumulated experience and uh, this uh, historical event is uh, it happens in the first history in, in first time in history that a country as cons uh, consoles the people of such an important uh, affair how many generations of venezuelans have seen drawn the Venezuela map. Since we were kids, uh, we were taught uh, uh, how, how to draw the, the full Venezuela, uh, of Venezuela, including uh, the Esequibo. So uh, the time, co the time come, the time come, uh, comes today uh, to express ourselves so all Venezuelans can express themselves alongside their family to express themselves about this as a key issue. The third question is Marco Salgado from Hispan TV. TV. Good morning, President. Two questions. There are lots. There are several uh, opposition reference that uh, if people go go to go casting their vote, they are voting for you. And on the other side, what would you say to these people that? Uh, have their convictions on Venezuela's sovereignty on the Esequibo, and I would like to ask you how, how, well, in the first place, this is a, a beautiful day. This is, this is not a day for, for division, for clashes. This is the time of Venezuela. This is, today is Venezuela's day, is the, the free expression. There's a lot of money uh, in social media, paying influencers to confuse the Venezuelan people. 
So there have been uh, lots of money behind uh, these uh, social media media campaigns to weaken Venezuela. But in the times Venezuela was uh, if was weaker, was uh, the time that the British Empire advanced uh, towards the Orinoco in the 19th century. We didn't have an army. Uh, so they made uh, they made uh, uh, they destroyed Venezuela. The rest of an emerging state that was born that was just getting born. So division. The sterile uh, clash led, led the, the British Empire to, to advance to almost at, to Ir Ir Orinoco. So that time of, this is not time of division. It's time of national unity, of just one voice blessed by God. It is time to speak about Venezuela, about the gre greatest uh, consensus in our country. It's time to advance. So uh, we we hoped the voice of Venezuela in the exercise, exercise of its rights. Uh, that uh, start of Guyana, of uh, Esequiba, Guyana, in 1890, 99 was included by Simon Bolivar, and uh, that aid started represented all the uh, all the Esequibo's territory. So this is a, a sacred start of our beautiful uh, beautiful flag. You, you are from Argentina, so the Venezuelan, Venezuelan flag was uh, created by Francisco de Miranda and uh, was approved by the uh, Angosturos uh, uh, Congress in, and it was the the symbol of of the armies in Guayaca, in Chincha, in Ayacucho. So we are proud of our flood. We it it, it is it makes us stronger than our flag because it's the flag of sovereignty. In your so have a coffee because today is a blessed day, a beautiful day. So in family, all Venezuelans will be voting. Thank you very much. God bless you. Long live Venezuela. Nicolás Maduro. Barcina Nicola Maduro just went to the just went to the to the polls and exercised his right to vote, and he offered some those, some statements and he answered the questions of the journalist that they wanted to know a little bit more about the process that is going to be held today on the consultative referendum on Venezuela over the uh, Guyana Esequibo. Barcina de Maduro is just uh, in the in the polls, and uh, he's just getting out right now. And uh, he has just offered some declarations to the some declarations to the journalists that have questions regarding everything that is going to take place today. And we were listening to the statements of Nicolas Maduro, the president of Venezuela. He urged people to go to the polls on the historic date of the consultative referendum for the Guyana Esquivo. He answered the questions of the journalists expressed that Venezuela is united defending what belongs to her and that the voice of the whole country is going to be heard on this exercise, exercise since its right to date. More breaking news coming up. Stay tuned.